Alabama has a quarterback situation? What? Next, on the skill. Welcome to the most lit sports show on YouTube. I'm your host, King Cooper Jan. Today, we're going to be talking about Alabama's quarterback situation. Now, you have my man. Tua on one side, I hope that's how you say his name, my guy from Hawaii just stepped in National College uh, Championship game versus my Georgia Bulldogs, and they got the W. All right, so you got this guy, his name is Tua Tagovailoa. I hope that's right. And then on the other side, you have my man Jalen Hurts, right? Quarterback two years, record of 26 and two. My man is like that, but, 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 but. They just went against my Georgia Bulldogs in the National Championship game. The score? It's 26, 23. Okay, granted, my man, you know, he came in the second half and did what he had to do to us. I, it's kind of hard for me to talk about this because I was, I really wanted Georgia to win this game. I, I did. I, I'm a Georgia fan, man. I'm from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I was rooting for my boys. You know what I'm saying? But it be like that sometimes. So anyway, let's let's just get into it. So just a little bit about Tua Tagovailoa. I, I man, I hope I'm saying that guy name right. All right, so just a little bit about him. Okay, so he's a freshman. He's thrown for over 600 yards. Um, he has 11 touchdowns, right? So he, he's he been there. He's kind of, he's like, you know, more like a, a reliever. Like when Alabama goes up, he gets in, you know, in, in the game situation. And then you got my man on the other side. He's he he's thrown for over 2,000 yards. He has 17 touchdowns, right? And the man has a mean run game. So this is the situation. You got Nick Saban. Salute to him for another college championship. Um, he's not uh, last nine years, five rings, six total. Is Nick Saban not the GOAT? If you want to play for a national championship, you want a chance to get in and actually play. Alabama is the school you want to go to, apparently. All right, so in the national championship game, you have Hurts, he's in first half. And he basically chokes. He he wasn't ready. Maybe it was the media attention throughout the week, being on ESPN, all his media coverage. Plus, he lost last year to um, Clemson in the national championship game. So the you know the weight is on his shoulders right now. And he's you know he's a sophomore, second year quarterback. So the pressure is on. Then you got a team like Georgia. They already popped Alabama once last year. Right, I was about to say this year when it was last year. That almost tricked me, 2017, 2018, you feel me? All right, so he got, you know, they got popped last year by my Georgia Bulldogs. And so, you know, coming back into this game, they playing them again. A lot of people didn't think Alabama should even be in this game. But I'm going to get to the quarterback situation. I know this video is about that. You've seen the thumbnail. Yes. But this is the main reason why we're, we're having this quarterback situation. This is the main reason. So I got to talk about the national championship game. Man. We lost, man. Dang. Anyway, so uh, he he wasn't performing well. He was overthrowing. I think he threw hair overthrew Harris. He was wide open uh, for the touchdown, and he just completely overshot him. I mean, the accuracy was definitely not there. Um, he was running for his life. Uh, he had 47 rushing yards and 21 passing yards off eight attempts in the first half of football my man was on his way to a hundred yard night passing that's it no tds so in the second half nick saban makes a decision to put in tour so when i seen that happen i was just like oh my god what is going on who is this guy i didn't know who he was the score was only 13-0 right and then you you pull your starting quarterback the man who took you to a national championship last year the man who's 26 and two with you and you snatch him that's a GOAT move. That's a GOAT move. And you go with a freshman. It's a GOAT move. So, and I kind of understand why he went with him. Because, for one, Georgia really don't have game film on him. Two, Georgia really wasn't preparing to face him. You know, so it's kind of like, dang. So they kind of hit him with a, ugh, you feel me? So, he gets in, uh, he gets sacked on the first play. And I was just like, it's over. It's a wrap. We, we, we got this. But that's not how it went down. Um, 166 yards later, three touchdowns, uh, one a crucial one in overtime, and the score was 26 to 23. I'm I'm still trying to figure it out. This just happened to my Falcons last year with with uh, Tom Brady. It was just like, how did this happen to two Georgia teams within a year of 
football. It's, ah. I, Nick Saban said that was like the best um, championship that he, he has coached for the simple fact that he made a decision to put in a freshman at the half, and they came back and won with him. The freshman got them that W. That's what's up. That's 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 tough on my man. That's tough. So they got a lot to think about. But right now, salute to them on this national championship. Um, and we'll see come 2018 who will be the starter. Who will be the starter? Jalen Hurts. <laughs> I need to edit that out. Or two will tackle Lua. See you next time, man. Peace.